Well, today is a day dedicated to celebrating the many ways our men and women in uniform contribute to society through their service, Veterans Day. Military service provides veterans with leadership, discipline, and problem-solving skills, traits that make veterans excellent small business owners. Joining us now to discuss the resources and programs available to help Veterans start growing a business. Bernie Danridge, a small business development specialist with Florida Capital Bank. Bernie, thank you for joining us. Hey, it's my pleasure. This is a, a complex thing to deal with to set up a small business and get it going successfully. What are some things people, particularly veterans, might want to know from the, the ground as they start getting things up and running? Well, people that are just starting off need to make sure that they got a good support structure. They need to make sure that they have a great idea, of course, but they also need to make sure that they've covered things that they might not know a lot about, like uh, legal matters like having a great CPA, like having uh, HR issues covered, things like that. We at Florida Capital Bank believe you need to have a great uh, banker. We're I was going to say, and you guys do with the SBA loans, small business administration loans? We do. We make SBA loans every day. We all also do USDA lending, but we do SBA loans with small business people constantly, and in particular, we're excited about doing them with veterans. Uh, you know, today in Florida, there's over 186,000 small businesses that are owned by veterans. Uh, that's almost 10% of all the businesses in the state. There's tremendous numbers of resources for people to, to get. Please go to our website at floridacapitalbank.com backslash veterans. That'd be flcb.com backslash veterans. And we've got a lot of resources there for you if you're a veteran. But please take advantage of those resources. They will help you overcome challenges before they become a challenge. Yeah, I want to talk about some of the other resources that are out there. Is It was really interesting. Get your HR, get your CPA, get your legal backing. Um, what are some other resources locally that people have? My favorite resource locally is the Small Business Development Center, which is over at UNF. They do unbelievably great things for small business people for free. They have a tremendous number of experts there that help people in all kinds of different fields. Everything from, um, as we mentioned, HR issues, but accounting. We, they have people that help with web things. We have, they have a guy that just helps with government contracting. So if you're a veteran today and you look back at your military service and you think, gosh, there was an area there that I could put together a product that would really help meet that need in the military, and you want to develop a contract with the military about that, they have a guy at the SBDC who can help you work together to get that done. There's a lot of people who have great ideas, but it's the follow-through that's the hard part. Oh, man, that is so true. And when we see business failure, it's really truly because of a lack of business support and true great guidance. You need to make sure that you've got great guidance. And great guidance comes from a variety of resources, but you have to humble yourself and say, hey, I need to make sure that all my bases are covered, even the bases that I don't know that are there. So um, we strongly encourage people to be involved with a good consultant in a variety of different areas, uh, and we want to be the consultant in the banking field. So um, uh, we're really excited about Veterans Day. You know, I lived in Orange Park and in Clay County for, gosh, since the middle 80s. Uh, both of my neighbors on both sides of me are, are veterans. Uh, they're fantastic people. Uh, we are very, very blessed to be here in Jacksonville. We have fantastic military presence. Um, one last story, I was down at Camp Blanding in Clay County. Yeah. And you know, they have a place where you can uh, go and learn how to fire automatic weapons and okay. things like that. That whole apparatus, that whole area was developed by a small business person who used to be a military guy. I had it was a very, made a go of it. Yeah, I had a very brief conversation with the gentleman, and uh, it was really exciting. He was a military individual, retired, had a great idea, took that idea and presented a contract to the uh, military and got, got going. Fantastic opportunity. So please take a look at those opportunities, get a good support structure around yourself. Let us help you on the banking side, and we'd be great. Bernie Danner's Florida Capital Bank. Thanks so much. My really a uh, good day to talk about this stuff. And uh, Channel 4 and CW17 are proud to bring you live coverage of the annual Veterans Day Parade. That will be coming up uh, just a little later this morning at 11 on both stations as we honor the men and women of our fighting forces. Kent Justice and Melanie Lawson will be joined by special guests. That's the Jacksonville Veterans Day Parade live on the local station and CW17.